So I'm not going to engage. I just feel like it's pride at this point, man, holding you back. I think you see my, I think you see my viewpoint and you want to agree with it, but you don't want to agree with it. If you think in any way, shape or form, you're going to have to give an inch of ground. I'm willing to give some ground to you. Look, I would love it. I would absolutely adore it. If nobody ever put a provocative picture in a fucking thumbnail again, that would be great, but it's not material reality. I'm not willing to negotiate with the devil. I'm not, you're not negotiating with the devil. You're going to confront the devil on his own playground you said, you said concede ground to them i'm not willing i didn't to say that. concede Absolutely. ground to them i said no my motto is not one step back you concede no ground but you can never even get your fucking foot on the enemy's terrain with your worldview you can never gain any ground because you're unwilling to even put the foot where the enemy's doorstep is I've gained hundreds of millions of views without doing that and great not, um, it's nice that job. you have an echo chamber but how are you reaching i've already told you that i speak against red pill and i lose thousands of followers right that, that well that's showing you then that the people who but are following you are only following you because they already agree with you Otherwise, if you have these disagreements, they would not abandon your show. I don't have an echo chamber because I have conflicting views in the people that follow me, obviously. If you have conflicting views, the people who are following you, then why do they abandon your show? Not all of them abandon. Yeah, sure. Not all of them. And I'm saying the ones who remain probably mostly agree with you. What I'm saying is that I would like to see you actually touch footfall down on enemy terrain and actually take it to them. Take the fight to them. I've, I've, I've seen so often Christians who will take what they consider to be a principled stance while the, the literally society is burning around them. It's like all you have to do is step across the Rubicon. That's all I'm so asking. You're saying to step on enemy terrain. Would you consider the whatever podcast enemy terrain? Every single time I go on there. The host is the enemy of us? I wouldn't say that the host is necessarily an enemy. I think that the host can be brought around to my worldview over time. So you think the red pill is the enemy? Because it's a red pill show. I don't think that the red pill is the enemy as far as descriptors. I think that the red so pill... You're not going on the enemy's territory. You're going on an ally's territory because no. it's a red pill show. No. Listen, it's not necessarily uh when you when you're talking about an enemy ally distinction while it's true that i have some agreements with brian i also have many disagreements with brian when he's when he's talking about descriptors he's correct same with rollo tomasi when they're talking about descriptors they're mostly correct when they're talking about prescriptions i mostly disagree with them and we end up having these fights i believe based on the content that i just viewed from you today when you reached out that you have the exact same mentality that you agree with most of these red pill descriptors as well so then like you what? wouldn't be going into enemy territory either, I guess. The red pill is definitely the enemy, 100%. I don't know what... Based on descriptors or prescriptors? Like, for instance, if... Here, let me give you a descriptor. Women like tall men, on average. Okay, sure. Did you Do you agree or disagree? Women usually like taller men. Yeah, okay. with uh, absent a patriarchal authority, women will often revert to hypergamy. Without a patriarchal authority, women will often no. Without a Christian authority, women will do that. that. Would be that would be a patriarchal authority, by the way. And you know, no, no. In Muslim nations, they have a patriarchal authority, and women are not reverting to hypergamy, sir. Yeah, well, what it, uh, it comes down to how you define patriarchy, because men are in, in fucking charge. That's how I would define patriarchy. In the home, men are in charge in the home if they submit themselves to God. That's it. That's the only okay, way. Okay, but that that's not. I, I just gave you the definition of patriarchy. I said men are in fucking charge. That's what it means. And absent that, women will often revert to hypergamy. Do you agree or disagree? I don't agree on your definition of patriarchy, though. No. Okay, well, what's the definition of patriarchy then? A system of society or government in which the father or eldest male is the head of the family or descent is traced through the family sip, or a system of society or government in which men hold the power and women are largely excluded. Also, men are in fucking charge, so you agree with me then. Women are not excluded from power, though. They, well, they can be. It, that would be at the whims of the patriarchy. That's not Christian. Christianity. I didn't freedom. say it's anything about Christianity. I just said the word patriarchy. You said you're you're adding patriarchy. you're adding Christian to patriarchy. You well, yet your definition. Can you show me in your definition where it says the word Christian, sir? You said patriarchy is Christian. You said Christian is a patriarchal system. Yes, Christianity is a patriarchal system, but that does not mean that patriarchy means Christianity, sir. Defense, it depends on how you define it. Because well, that's why we just went through the definitions. And can you show me in the definition where it says Christianity? 
anywhere. Claiming that it's that it's Christianity's patriarchal. You claim that. I yes, Christianity Christianity is patriarchal, but that doesn't mean that all patriarchies are Christian. Well, then show me where in patriarchy it says Christian, since you're saying that it's a Christian system. No, no, no. I said the opposite. I said that, yes, it's true that Christianity is a patriarchal system, but that does not mean that all patriarchal systems are Christian. All right. You can. You Am can I wrong? Is, is Christianity a patriarchal system? I do not agree with that per the definition of patriarchy. No. Why don't you agree with that? What? Wait, wait, hang on. What? You don't believe it's a patriarchal system? No. Okay. Is God both gendered? (laughs) I don't. What does that have to do with? Well, I'm just wondering. I'm just. Who's in charge of Christianity? Is it Jesus Christ? Christianity is a relationship with Christ. Okay. So who's in charge of Christianity? Who's in charge? Is it a man or a woman? The father, so yes, it's 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 a male. Mm, it's a male, and but it's is, not is, hang on, hang on. Is he the end all be all? You is he the alpha God. and the omega? Is he the beginning and the end? Is he the all? Is he the everything? Is he right, right, everything? Because right. if so, that then that would be a patriarchy, sir. Yeah, no, Christianity is a relationship with Christ. It's not the hierarchical structure that you think it is because you're an Orthodox. That's not what Christianity. Is. Oh, really? So do women preach Christ. in your church? No. Why not? Women just don't preach in Why church. not? They preach in other churches. Do you think they should be able to? Again, that's a theologo- theological debate. No, no we're talking like, about patriarchy. Just... We're talking about patriarchy. Can, do you think women should be able to preach in your a church? Patriarchy is the system of government that a country is in. No, if, it, it doesn't have to be a country. It can be... It can, you're gonna say, you can have you're a gonna commune say, that's a patriarchy, bro. If you can make an argument that, sure, the household is sort of patriarchal in nature because the man has to submit himself to God, and then the only, that's the only way a traditional woman will submit herself to him. Yeah, I don't even disagree. That sounds patriarchal to me. In the household, but the pa- patriarchy usually refers to a government Well, system. the extension from the household no. would also be the church next. What do you mean, no? A patriarchy usually refers to a government system. Just well, well, hang on. Like assuming, assuming. Am I debating both of you, or what's going as, on? Assuming for a second. I the definition of patriarchy. Father ruled. That was the traditional. Yeah, I don't, I don't think term. you've been treated unfair by the mod by any by any stretch, and it's appropriate for him to give clarification on definition. But the thing is, is that I actually cannot figure out how this is not a patriarchal system, or how churches are not run through a patriarchal system. I think that they very clearly are, and by your own definition, they are. Okay. So the the reason that I'm bringing this up is because again. Again, this was you who brought up that, hey, this is a principled Christian stance, okay? Not so sure that it's a principled Christian stance. Maybe you should kind of reevaluate some of your Christian ethics here. That's all I'm saying. But a uh, a man of the household only does what God leads him to do. And? So, again, if you want to make the argument in the household, it's a patriarchal system, Depends on how you define it. Well, sure, don't but it's you a man want... submitted himself to God. It's it's tr- anyway. Super we're going. We're, we're very far off. You wanted to go off the descriptors that you're saying. I agree with. Yeah, but I think that that is a descriptor that the red pill would agree with. That men should be in charge and be, uh, and that a patriarchy is a necessary precondition for a thriving society. I think that they but would the agree. Problem, they say that, but the problem is they don't care if men submit to themselves to God. That would be a prescription, not a description. That's my whole point. So you asked what descriptors would you agree with, and this is exactly what I'm telling you. The descriptor that a patriarchy is necessary for a healthy society, they would agree with. However, how that is implemented is where you and I would deviate with them. This is my whole point by telling you the distinction between descriptive reality and prescriptive reality. The reason that I loathe the red pill is because when it comes to the conditions of prescription, I believe that they're wrong. However, that doesn't make them my enemy because many times the descriptions that they give are completely correct. So we can find a lot of common ground. That's how I'm able to move them over to my side is saying, look, your prescriptions suck and mine are way better. Right? Sure. All right. Well, I think we've gotten as far in the debate as we can, but do you mind uh, sticking around for some callers and super chats? 
and I'd appreciate it. Yep. And also, RC, do you want to shout your channel out briefly uh, before we take those on? I'll give you an opportunity to do that again after we make closing statements. No, I'm good. I, I, RC, I'm not going to. I'm literally not going to use it against you. I promise. I just you could just shout it out because there's a there's a there's a large audience here. I thought. Bro, yeah, because I have. I mean, I have like quadruple the amount of followers, so I don't need to shout myself out. Yeah, but you don't have quadruple the amount of live viewers, so. Okay, I don't care to shout myself out. No, okay, well, fine. Then I'll shout myself out to all of your viewership. I will not piety signal, and will say you can find me right here on the Crucible. My name is Andrew Wilson. I appreciated the debate very much. Uh, I guess I won't be putting a link in because he doesn't want one. I have no idea why. It seems absurd to me. But um, I'll give my closing first and give you the last word because you opened first. That's pretty common in debates. Do you have any issues there? No. Okay. So anyway, here's my closer here. My closer here is that you, the audience, can compare strategies between myself and RC. It seems that his principled stance is far more self-serving than anything in which I'm doing, which is to try to bring the messaging of uh, conservatism and Christianity to the maximum amount of people that I possibly can by engaging them on their own turf, utilizing their own worldviews. And I think that you're unnecessarily, that RC is unnecessarily crippling himself by not doing that. And it seems like now that I've demonstrated this kind of over and over and refuted each and every point he's brought up, that he's literally just hanging on to pride and saying, look, the reason I'm not going to change my stance on this is because uh, I think that it's important. Wait, he muted me? You didn't mute me, did you? Yeah. Did you mute me? No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Sorry, somebody said that. But anyway, I think that uh, that I successfully refuted basically all of his arguments, and I think that it's pretty easy to see the contrast. I have nothing against R.C. He seems like a very nice man, and I enjoyed his content when I went and viewed it and found myself agreeing with a lot of it. Our core disagreement here is around how we reach maximum audiences, and I think it's very important that we do so. And on their own turf, in their face, and I think that that's how we bring the most amount of people to our side, and he disagrees. You can make the determination for yourself which kind of uh, tactic you think is going to be the most effective, but just remember that I brought up multiple times that this has been tried before, and it's failed miserably over and over, and we cannot, we cannot pretend that you can change culture without engaging with the culture you have to and you can't do it from an echo chamber you have to do it where you get the most amount of people who see you engaging in it so that they can continue to either a be converted from what it is the path that they're on or can help you push this message to other people so uh, i have no ill will towards rc i hope he does very well and I was happy that he came on and did the debate. He requested it. I thought it was respectful for the most part, though contentious. And with that, I'll yield my time. Yeah, so, I mean, as I said from the beginning, all you have to do, go on YouTube, as you're already on, type in the whatever podcast and go look at their thumbnails and ask yourself, is this a podcast that's really fighting to help young men to turn away from this degeneracy? Or is this a podcast that is an OnlyFans ad agency promoting these women to go on, which is the only reason they go on? And when you click on any video, go to the bio, you'll see every single of the women on the panels, Instagrams are linked. And where do you find OnlyFans links? In women's Instagram accounts. So obviously there's a connection there. Uh, to rebuttal what Andrew said that I'm doing this, I'm holding on to my position out of pride. I'm holding on to my z position for opposite of pride. If I let my pride control everything I do, I would do exactly what Andrew's doing. I would go on any podcast without asking God first if this is something he'd want me to do to gain maximum amount of followers to me to grow my account as big as I possibly can without first asking, is this something that is biblically based since I view the world through Christianity first before anything else? So the last thing I'll conclude with is these Red Pill podcast hosts know exactly what they're doing by exploiting the pain of their male audience by clickbaiting them to show these explicit pictures so that they can click on, <laughs> pretend and masquerade this whole thing as a debate 
pretending to fight as some sort of justice warrior against these feminist promiscuous ideologies. But at the end of the day, the Red Pill podcast hosts are in it for the same reason that the degenerate OnlyFans women are going on. It's for attention and it's for money. And I yield my time.